Hello, 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 and welcome to another movie. <clears throat> you guys seem to like it last time I did this. Maybe I will try to be a little bit more specific, but I also need to talk a little bit faster because holy God, this is going to take like an hour and a half, maybe. Anyway, we're going to be going over the losses and the wins. I've had all 30 matches. It will be a pain in the ass. I will call uh, units by the wrong name. You'll just have to bear with me and get over it. Um, so I've been uh, using uh the buffed units quite a lot and by the buffed units i mean specifically dilibet um because dilibet is kind of cracked now um and if i remember uh, actually i'll just do it now because i will not remember uh, i'll just show her now so you guys can see what i changed uh, i got rid of her speed boots and just gave her hp boots uh so now She's 165 speed. I put her on Warhorn just to make up for the lost speed, so she's extra cutting. Uh, the 0.2% crit chance is going to ruin me, but hits hard. Pretty good unit. Very happy with her. Uh, anyway, let's start at the bottom uh, against this person in the Kahala Guild in Korea. They go for Flan, Abinki, Harseti, Rylet, and Genoa. I go for Senya, Dilibet, Solitaria, Mort, and Ed. They ban out Senya, I ban out Rylet. Did I say Rylet? I don't actually know. I might have just skipped over him. Um, and my entire team... Amiki going first, let me just say, is the worst thing that could have happened, because now they just kill Solitaria. And then I will never be... If I recall this fight correctly, uh, they just kill Solitaria. And then I can never hit the flan. Despite the fact that I tried to hit the flan so much. Like, I'm fine with this. It doesn't push him up. It just makes him angry. Uh, Solitary lived that, but Amiki going right before my Dilibet. Not great. So, I'm gonna need to push everybody up. Dilibet, can you hit flan, please? It's a 50-50. Okay, that's one down. Ed, can you please, can you please hit Flan? You need to hit Flan or I will just lose to Flan. Please, okay. I lost to Flan. If you can guess who I lost to here, you'd be surprised to know it was Flan. Uh, I also, I don't hit Genoa, which is fine. That's to be expected. I fear Amiki, which is good. Hopefully she will actually waste a turn. Um, but yeah, because now Flan... I'm going to skip ahead, especially when it's kind of like, you know, not very interesting. Um, and by not very interesting, I mean they just S1, get a focus, and then I can literally never hit her ever. And Genoa goes and kills Dilibet. Like, I killed Amiki, though. If you want to watch me kill... Amiki. I don't know what I was hoping for. I really don't. Uh, but yeah, I just died. <laughs> uh, so Mort's first appearance, not great. Next up was against Umber FE in the Amalgamation. Not Amalgamation. Almagation? That's not the right word. Uh, they go for Flan. You're going to see Flan in... I'm pretty sure every single one of these fights, either on my side or their side, she is everywhere. Or she's banned. Um, Ilanov, Harseti, Senya, and Lilias. I go for DDR, Dilibet, Solitaria, Ed, and Aiden. They ban out Aiden. I ban out Senya. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, this one, I have slightly better luck in that my DDR goes next. If you can believe it, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of a different fight. Okay, DDR didn't get debuffed. I was thinking of a fight where they just go into him and he stuns immediately because Abyssal, Pr Abyssal Crown has 100% crit chance. Uh, anyway, gonna go ahead and do this. She cleanses the sleep. She tries to provoke DDR, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead, push everybody up. Uh, Ed, just to make sure there's no... Uh, jiggery pokery, as it were. Uh, I'm just gonna kill Flan now while she's asleep. Uh, you can hit a unit 
when they're asleep. So Ed had a 100% chance to hit that, which is great. Uh, now, we're just going to go ahead and stun the Lelias. And they concede. Because I could just hold my everything. And eventually get there. Um, but yeah, Flan's going to be in quite literally every single one of these fights. Next up is against Sharpie. They go for Flan, Lilias, C. Lilius, sorry, C. Lilius, DDR, Rowana, and Sez. I go for Ilanov, Senya, Solitaria, Dilibet, and Amiki. I go for Solitaria in the band slot because she is my one answer to Flan to stop all the dual attacking nonsense. Um, Ilanov and Senya just because, you know, I want bulk. Uh, Dilibet to deal with C. Lilius and DDR. Amiki to deal with their entire freaking team uh, because what people like to do is pick someone that resets and then someone that does not reset and then you just pick Amiki uh, and then you ban the person that they reset so they either have to get rid of Amiki or they lose to Amiki. Easy as pie. So C. Lilius doesn't want to proc the Dilibet which is completely understandable. However, they accidentally proc the Dilibet. They put a debuff up. Perfectly fine. They're gonna go ahead, put a second debuff up. Amiki counters, which is hilarious. Now I have uh, whatever DDR does here, I will cleanse. He should have just S1'd. Um, I guess that really wouldn't have mattered because uh, I would have pushed up with Ilana. Um, but they're just going to full send it, which is fine. Dilibet is angry. Uh, says you don't have attack buff and you don't have souls and you don't have the vigor buff. All right, well, good try, says you, you, nice try, really nice try, uh, yeah, it didn't work out for them, uh, then I went on a bit of a losing streak, as one does, um, this person in the Asia server, they went for Flan, shocking, uh, SBA, Zio, Rowana, and, uh, Veronica, I went for Senya, Harsetti, shocking, I know, because I couldn't let them have both Flan and Harsetti, uh, Hand Guy, Amiki and Sage Ball. They ban out Sage Ball. I get rid of Rowana because Veronica usually isn't an issue. Um, I don't think it would have mattered, but uh, due to Harsetti, my entire team is going first, which is pretty good. Everything I want. They're going to push back Harsetti. That is perfectly fine. SBA can do what she wants. Free dual attack. That's usually why I pick Solitaria, but I didn't. Uh, they're going to go into Senya, push everybody up, get the defense break. Usually Veronica doesn't I'm I'm always so wary of what I should do that sometimes I you know as one does I made the wrong decision so I asked one there uh, they're gonna get rid of Farsetti but Amiki does counter which is pretty nice and if I can get rid of this um, Veronica, that'd be great. I guess there's also the, of who I should have gone into here. Um, I go into SBA. I probably should have gone into Veronica. Also, you know, the unlikely event, uh, plan hit me, so it did a lot of damage, uh, which procced my immortality and then... 
that happens, unfortunately. Um, if SBA or if Flan didn't hit me, hit, didn't hit that 50-50, um, you know, they wouldn't have gotten my null up um, until after the Veronica wet, which at that point I could very easily deal with it. It's just a bit of bad timing all around, but that happens. Uh, next up is Kick in the VC Guild. In Global, they go for Ilanov, Hankai, Harsetti, um, BMH, and Mort. Uh, I go for DDR, Dilibet, Senya, Ed, and Aiden. They ban out Ed, I ban out Mort. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I tend to pick Dilibet, Ed, and Aiden into Harsetti because if they're going to throw the entire world into RNG, I might as well do the exact same thing. Um... DDR going first is unfortunate, but fine. Um, they're just going to S3 here, and everybody guess what happens to Aiden. Miss Stun, correct. You are correct. Uh, so that's not great. That was the necessary uh, counter I really wanted uh, to be able to, you know, kill some people so now uh i'm just gonna s1 into blood moon haste or i don't why didn't i go into blood moon haste um i have defense buff i might as well just go for this reset everybody it'll reset the hand guy which is pretty nice he won't be able to cleanse turns out to be a counter everybody which is, you know, just my luck, and all that damage I did to Blood Moon Haste is now gone. Uh, I wouldn't know what it's like to hit a hit a counter, but it's wild. They just raw S3, and they specifically get a stun on Aiden. Um, so, you know, normal, normal nonsense. Normal nonsense for me. Um, I don't think anyone in the right mind just raw S3s in hopes to stun specifically Aiden. Uh, hand guy can't do anything here, which is perfectly fine. Uh, all this nonsense, though, has given them enough souls once he S1s to uh, strip and kill Dilibet. Uh, they also get a dual attack, because why would they not? Uh, they've gotten two counters and a dual attack, and this is the difference between us and them. Uh, they have good luck. We don't. So they're just going to kill Dilibet. Perfectly fine. Everybody's back to full health. I need to kill this guy immediately. Hey, hand guy is already here and cleansing. Uh, and if you can believe it, DDR is going to die. Yep. Because she has 300 effectiveness apparently and enough crit damage to crit everybody also Aiden got hit again um hooray <laughs> isn't it isn't it fun hopefully he doesn't counter this oh he didn't good for you <sighs> and this is of course a damage Carrick because that's what people build with Harsetti And now I have to hope and pray for Aiden to do something. Spoiler alert. She, whoops. My phone wants to go to sleep because that's how I feel about this fight. Uh, if you can believe it, she defense breaks again. Aiden, if you could dodge. Oh my god, Aiden dodge. She gets another stun. Uh, let's start working on hand guy. They can kill Senya. That's perfectly fine. Uh, they are going to kill Senya. And then let's all take another big guess at what happens here. Hit defense break. Hit attack down. Dead. <laughs> great. Thank you, Aiden. Really great. What was that? One dodge out of five? 70% baby. Uh, next up is Rentan, who goes for Mage Luna. Uh, Koi Lady, Solitus, Rowana, and uh, Arby. I go for DDR, Dilibet, Solitaria. 
uh, what's her name? Akades and Amiki, they ban Amiki, I ban Rowana. Uh, and then here's hoping. Solitus does not go first. And the soul burn to push, to, to specifically put the speed down on. Also, uh, you may be noticing this is a 240 speed, uh, 240 speed ed. So my Katie's pushes up, but not enough. And also he gabbed. <laughs> you know. They needed the Solitus with book, Mage Luna, you know, typical nonsense. Uh, you've seen it a million times before. Next up, this person in the Korea server they go for. Flan, Solly, Zio, Jacko, and uh, Yufin. I get rid of Yufin. They get rid of Amiki. Uh, I have DDR, Celine, Solitaria, Amiki, and Sage Ball. Let's try and figure out what happens here. So they're going to kill Solly. But that's fine. Because Sage Ball exists. They're going to kill. Absolutely, they're going to kill Solitaria. That's to be expected. But I have resist on both of these units, so I'm not scared of a soul burn. They do soul burn. Doesn't do anything. Can I hit the flan, please? 50-50. You know me in 50-50s. Uh, so once again, they're just going to S1. I'm going to attempt to put everybody to sleep. So... You can hit a sleep because because I know what you're all gonna say. You're gonna say, "Why didn't you go into Flan with Celine?" Elemental disadvantage still applies even if they are asleep. It does not. It stops people from evading, but it does not stop them from missing. This was just a fifty-fifty. If that makes sense, because Flan has evasion. So that would take... I wouldn't have been able to hit Flan, essentially, is the main point of this. Also, I did not get Solitus out of stealth, which is not great. Let's go ahead Venom her down. And now, because they have a focus, they get to do that. Um, and then they just slowly dismantle the team. It's great. Uh, but yeah, I would not have been able to hit the flan with, um, with Celine because she can still miss because of elemental disadvantage, not just because of, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, next up. Another person in the Asia server, they go for Sali, Senya, Amiki, DDR, and Sharoon. I go for Flan. Shocking. Uh, I have her this time. Um, Celine, Ilinov, Dilibet, and Solitaria. They ban out Celine because Solitus and DDR, I guess. Um, and I ban DDR because uh, I don't... I don't want them to... Otherwise, they can't really deal with Flan. At least I think they can't. Uh, so Solly's gonna go first. Also, they have no damage, really. Because I have Ilanov, so I'm not afraid of Senya. Their Amiki is, like, literally base speed. So, like, all they're doing here, really, is spending all of their S3s. 
Uh, they put Sharoon in the back, so they can't even, like, push up Sharoon. Or not Sharoon, push up Amiki. Uh, so they're gonna S3 into Solly. It's not gonna do much. She's just squeaking like a dog toy. And, like, they don't have Soul Burn, and Sharoon very clearly does not have a stun on her S1. Uh, and that usually applies for the opponent as well. Mm-hmm. Uh... Dilibet doesn't even need to do anything. I'm still going to have her do things, but she doesn't need to do anything. Uh, let's go ahead and just injury down the Senya so it's doing even less. Uh, I have Ind Indomitable and Defense buff, so I might as well just throw this. Uh, Amiki does counter, but that's perfectly fine. Senya procs. Again, I don't care. I have Senya or uh, Ilanov. Um... Plus, now I can just kill, boop, kill Sharoon, uh, and hold on to my, um, S3 with Solitaria, and now they don't have, well, they do have one AoE, they have Senya, but I'm now in stealth with a barrier, I don't have a barrier, never mind, I'm in stealth behind, uh, Ilanov, so this isn't gonna be doing much. Um... Amiki can do whatever the hell she pleases with her S1. Okay. Okay. That is fine. Um, now that Amiki's at the back, though, I am just going to proc her. Because... And they have a lot of faith in their Amiki surviving this, because they don't even soul burn this. Uh, they're going to S3. It does... 5k to Solly. Not enough. Nice try. Let's go ahead, S1 you. S3 into the Amiki. Get rid of the immortality. And now Senya cannot win a 1v1 versus Ilanov, unfortunately. Usually can't win a 1v1 versus Ilanov. Just to make sure, I soul burn. And they give up. Because Solly's still in the back. And Ilanov has Holy Sack, though. Uh, and we're going to have an uphill battle. Next up is against Silva. Uh, in the Flash Speed Guild in Asia, they go for Veronica, Zio, uh, Alots, who apparently is super bad now because of his buff, uh, slash S, Sez, and Ludwig. I go for Flan, uh, Ilanov, Senya, Bellion, and Amiki. I ban out Veronica because they last picked Ludwig into Bellion, which tells me they are going to 100% ban Bellion, which means Amiki can solo this team if Veronica is not there. So I get rid of Veronica. That is the reason I got rid of Veronica, because they telegraphed their ban from roughly 30 miles away. <laughs> so, like... You got six souls, or 60 souls, you might as well use all of them, right? Uh, it's also funny, as you will see later, uh, in the next in the next fight um, that I have against Silva, they first pick Amiki. Uh, I imagine because they uh, remembered my profile card uh, and just decided to do that, which is hilarious. Um, says is gonna do says things, everyone's gonna explode. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna lay the phone down real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Everybody needs to get something to drink. Uh, and I was checking constantly. No one has cleanse. Uh, or no one has no one has strip. Sorry, on this team. So uh, I don't have soul burn, but I'm still fairly positive I can kill Zio with an S3. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of him, and then I just slowly work on everybody else. And I have so many opportunities for counters. Perfect. 
Bye, says. Go ahead, Ludwig. Soulburn. Oh no, skill null. I would have killed through skill null either way. <laughs> but it's extra funny this way. Next up, Hengyotu. Hengyotu. In the Chunfun Guild in Global, they go for Sali, A Tywin, Knockwall, Solitaria, and uh, Goliath. I go for Flan, DDR, DJB, Ed, and Laya. They get rid of Ed, I get rid of Goliath. This one, I believe, is an immensely short one. Uh, Solitaria, what do you do? Okay, they're gonna S3. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It pushes my DJB and DDR up. I believe I S2, and then they quit. <laughs> Which is completely understandable. <laughs> Oh, but funny nonetheless. Anyway, oh god. Radomeria? Radomeria? I don't know, whatever their name is, I can't... I I haven't studied J Japanese in like a year. Uh, and the boss guild in Japan, they go for Flan, Mort, Dilibet, Ruel, and LRK. I go for Senya, DDR, Solitaria, Flitica, and Ravi. They ban out Flitica, I ban out Ruel. Uh, first things first. Let's go ahead and stun the, uh, stun the LRK. Push him back. Uh, I am not going to trigger the Dilibet quite yet. Uh, as you will see very shortly, uh, this needed to hit. It did not. Also, more counters immediately. And hey, Dilibet's gonna S3. Typical, typical Flan stuff, really. Because they're just gonna S3, it's gonna kill everybody. I think it also hits Ravi. It does hit Ravi, but I resist. Uh, I need to kill you. Damn. Well, now they just kill... I do kill the flan, but... It's just... A bunch of this. I'm trying to get rid of Mort so I can freaking counter. But even without debuff, Stilibet gets her defense break, and then she S3s and I die. <laughs> just skipping through that one because it's kind of boring just watching Ravi not counter because of Mort. Um, but yeah, next up is another Renton game. Uh, Mage Luna, DDR, Rowana, Solly. Uh, and Solly. Solly, Solly. I go for Flan, Celine, uh, Akades, uh, Polly, and Laya. Uh, I got rid of whomever. Uh, they have four books, or 40 souls, because, again, a lot of people don't know how to play without book. Rowana's gonna do this. No one can resist it, because why would they? Uh, hey, they, they have another book. They didn't even need. They didn't need to use it. They're gonna kill, push back Laya, and then they're gonna stun everybody, kill everybody. Yep, yep. Yep. Like, imagine if they just didn't have book. Stillabet can't do anything. Celine dies. I get a lot of buffs, but Solitary is still there, so. 
unfortunate. I hate souls. They're so, so bad. Just make souls, using souls, be a dual attack. Um, next up, someone in global. They go for DDR, A Tywin, Ravi, um, SSV, and Knackle. I go for Ilanov, Celine, Dilibet, Amiki, and Karina. I ban out Knackle. They ban out um, Amiki. Barrier sets, a little annoying. They're just going to S2. Perfectly understandable. Uh, I go into Ravi, which is the one person I really didn't want to go into. So let's go ahead, S3. We need to deal with this A Tywin because he is very clearly the mitigation. Ravi, can, you can do what you want. They're going to go into Dilibet. It's, it's not even a 10k Sage Vivian. So I got complacent. I should have gone into a Tywin here. I went to Sage Vivian thinking that the... I also could have waited. And just S1 the a Tywin. And then S3 the next turn. Uh, once I have Indomitable up as well. I don't think things through all the time if you can believe it. Um... I need to kill a Tywin, so I'm going to barely not get rid of him. Um, and I don't. I also I don't know why I S three here with Dilibet. I should have just S one the a Tywin because Ravi counters, as is typical. Now I can't cleanse. Uh, yeah. So this is just me playing poorly. I do get rid of the Ravi next turn, but Sage Vivian just takes over. Yeah, because they S3 kill Selene because her evasion buff is a joke. Uh, and then defense break, S soul burned S1 doesn't even kill a DDR. Like, what? This is like a 23, 24k DDR. Apparently no one's building him with ER anymore. He's just full tank. Um, because in response to Harseti, everybody's just giving everybody uh, as much HP as possible. Because they'll be going first regardless. Speed doesn't matter anymore because Harseti exists. Uh, this is Verivus in the Coup de Stop guild in Europe. They go for A Tywin, uh, Polly, uh, Bryceria, Rowana, and Jacko. Like I was saying earlier, they'll pick one resetter and then a not resetter, and then they let Amiki through, and I'm very confused. They go, uh, Flan, or I go Flan, DDR, Dilibet, Ed, Amiki. Uh, they ban out Flan, which is kind of the whole reason they picked Bryceria, which is questionable at best. I get rid of Rowana because I don't think they're getting rid of Amiki. <laughs> which is perfectly fine. Bryceria, you can do whatever the hell you want. And as you will very, very uh, soon see. Uh, by the way, Chains of Chiron has a 100% uh, stun chance. You all already knew that, but it is just worth pointing out every single time that it happens. Um, if you can believe it, they're going to go into DDR now. I do counter, though, which is pretty nice. Sure, I counter again, which gets rid of my last counter. Less fun. Uh, soul burn. Okay. Soul burn. Okay. Hey, I get a counter. 
so now at this point, I think I just try to like, I just need to get everybody down low. The only way I can think that I lose this is if Bryceria's immortality procs at a weird time. So I'm gonna S3 into Bryceria. Uh, if you can believe it, they're gonna go into Amiki. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Uh-huh. Go on. Tell me how pretty I am. Sure. What a big boy you are. Provoking Amiki. Ed just sitting there chilling. Hey, I counted again. Sure. Go ahead. Get me low. You don't got souls. Ooh, unfortunate. <laughs> they spent the whole game setting up a specific fight and then they didn't use any of their units, which tickles me immensely. Uh, next up is Silva. They first pick Amiki because they realized that Amiki absolutely destroyed their team. Uh, I don't know why I last picked Mort. I probably shouldn't have. I should have picked Celine and then like Polly. I'm dumb. They go for Amiki, Zio, uh, Alots says, it's the same thing. It's it's literally the same fight. Also their Alots was unfortunately faster than my Flitica, but yeah, it's just the Sez bomb, but I'll let you guys watch it. <laughs> because it's always fun. Also because he breaks six digits. Look at him go. 130k. Boop. Very funny. Lots of weaknesses to that team. Very funny nonetheless. Um, so well done, Silva. You did it. Uh, next up is Bethany Jane in the Life Guild in Global. They go for Flan. Uh, Ilanov. Solitis. Solitisia. Um, Genoa and... Uh, Silverblade, Aramentha, I go for. Senya, Amiki, Solitaria, Celine, and DJB. They get rid of DJB. I get rid of SBA. Whoops. Uh, because Flan won't be dual attacking. So Solitus, the only way for her to get any sort of, um, you know, positive aspect out of her kit is to just S3. Uh, because her S1-ing is not helpful, especially when my solita uh, Solitaria is coming up next. Um, but here's the kicker. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Ilanov. Because again, all of these fights boil down to... Can Amaki solo? <laughs> I will get rid of every single one of my units as long as Amaki can solo. It's Holy Sack. Don't care. <laughs> Physically do not care. Uh, they have to go into Senya here. So are you a damaged Genoa? No. Good to know. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just S1, I think. Yeah, I just S1. Get rid of your barrier. Uh, if I could get like some stuns or something. Stun on Genoa is pretty nice, but they can cleanse. They can do as they please. But again, this is all just... This is all just... You have to go into Amiki. They do S3 here, which is... If I were to say, a mistake. Um, They should have... They hit... By the way, they hit um, Celine because 50% of Asian is a joke. Anyway, they should have S1 to break Solitaria out of Stealth. Because now they have to go into Amiki. Uh, and she's finally living up to her name and countering quite literally everything that happens to her, which is hilarious. So let's proc you. Gonna S3. It hits, so Solly takes some damage, but that's fine. Uh, Ilanov is low enough where I can probably kill everybody. Um, but with Solitus and, um, Genoa, I'm not scared. Boop. We'll get rid of Flan. Uh, 
Solitus is provoked into me, which is great. And we also know that if it does strip anything, it gets rid of the attack buff first and then the immortality. Um, we'll see that in a later fight. So I'm perfectly fine here. Genoa is going to do his thing. And Amiki's just going to stand there like a wall. Just to be extra super certain. Solitaria is going to stun him. Just to be safe. Because I don't trust this game. <laughs> if you could believe it. Um, oh my god. Are we even halfway? Oh my god, this is going to be a super long video. Oh well, you get to hear my voice. And me slowly losing my mind. Next up is Lumoturs. They go in Talentless, or Talent I-E-S-S. -S. It's hard to know. There's like 30 Talentlesses. Uh, Global, Mort, A. Tywin. Celeste? I think is her name. I honestly do not know with 100% certainty. Uh, Strays and Lua. Uh, I go for DDR, Celine, Dilibet, Zio, and Ilanov. Uh, them last picking... Lua means that they are getting rid of Selene. Uh, so I got rid of Strays. And then they have essentially no damage. Which I'm fine with. Um, like, I'll wait a turn. Uh, the Celeste is on Renewed Will. And Lua is on Spatio-Temporal Fan. So I'm just going to go ahead and silence the Lua. They don't have any form of cleanse on their team. Uh, Celeste can do really whatever the hell she wants. Um, Mort does counter immediately because apparently every single Mort, uh, excluding my own, counters upon any S1. Uh, they're going to S2. It's not going to do anything that I'm aware of. I think it pushed their team up. I don't know what she does. I'm going to be frank with you. Don't know what she does. But now somebody has a debuff. And... Uh, just gonna go into Celeste, just because I don't know. I want to be more safe than sorry. Uh, Dilibet, or Lua can't do anything here. Ooh, resistance on the defense break. Awesome. Resistance, that one's expected, though. Mort, you can go ahead and step on people. Or just S1, that's also fine. I, however, will be DDRing. And by DDRing, I mean S3, S2-ing. Um, everybody but Mort falls asleep, which is perfect. It gives me a target. So, hey, uh, we're just going to go ahead and S1 into Mort. Uh -huh. Then we're going to S1 into Mort. And also, he can only fear people that have... Uh, or he ignores ER if they have less... Um, health in him, and he's not going to have any health by the time I'm done with him. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just keep going into DDR. Or not DDR. Uh, Mort is going to get a second Venom, pop him, he's almost dead. Dilibet cuts. Almost cuts. Uh, but I want to see funny numbers. Uh, so let's go ahead and put Celeste to sleep. Alright. Defense buff. And this was before I changed her. Um, so she had less crit damage, stuff like that. Let's just S3, see what this gets us. Everybody's dead. And now Lua can join them. Goodbye. Thank you, Ilanov. I appreciate whatever you're saying. I don't understand it, but I appreciate it. Next up, this person in the Korea server. They go for Ilanov, LRK, Harseti, Dilibet, and Hand Guy. I go for Flan. DDB, DDB, DD, oh, DDR, there we go, Shu, Ed, and Aiden, they ban out Flan, I ban out Hand Guy, uh, probably should have gotten rid of Dilibet or, um, LRK, but that's fine, uh, surely they don't just S3 here again, nope, they're gonna S1 and get a dual attack immediately, uh, also their Ilanov I think goes next, Yep, Ilanov goes next. Because our city is fun and fair. Uh, and hey, DDR is dead now. Uh, DDR was my one path to victory, really. Uh, like, I still struggle because I want to play out the game, but... Like... 
they just kill Shu. Slowly kill DDR. They kill Ed. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, they got another dual attack. That's how Ed got so low. They got a second dual attack. Uh, and then they could kill him with the S1, which is not great. Will Aiden dodge? Good job, Aiden. I don't think it matters, but... <laughs> they got two... Essentially game-winning uh, dual attacks. And... Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, next is Loving Peace. I decided to let BBK through um, and get rid of Harsetti and Mage Luna. Uh, so they go for BBK, LRK, Armin, Sharoon, and Ravi. I go for Flan, uh, A Tywin, Ciceria, Strays, and Genoa. Looking at this, I should have absolutely gotten rid of the Ravi because it's very clearly a bait Ravi for specifically Strays, but I'm dumb and decided to get rid of Sharoon for some godforsaken reason um so yeah i should have gotten rid of ravi if you uh can expect that will come back to bite me because this is a 33k hp ravi so this is going to do literally nothing oh by the way they all have immunity um because why wouldn't they <laughs> Why, why would they not have immunity? Oh, it's also a counter. A counter BBK. Also, one, one thing I will say is this Armin soaks up so much of Genoa's damage. It's legitimately impressive. Like... This S3 does 6k. Uh, then if you could believe it, it's just a beating. Because I can't do anything. I did strip the immunities, but then my A Taiwan decided not to stun anyone important. Or defense break anybody important. I still cannot break. Like, that was... I think I didn't crit. My 99% Genoa didn't crit. Uh, but I needed to... I'm still just trying to proc this... Um, BBK. If you can believe it, I missed. And then I missed again. <laughs> I'm like the Game Grumps over here. I fired and then I missed, and then I missed, and then I fired, and then I missed. Anyway... We're coming up to the final 10, I believe. Final 11. I don't know how to count. It's late. I'm dying. Flan, Roana, Pyra, uh, Ciceria, and uh, regular Armentha. I go for LRK, DDR, Solitaria, Senya, and Bunny Dom. I ban out Summertime Iceria. They ban out Senya. I don't know what I'm worried about here. They cannot do anything with Flan. Which is great. Uh, they can reset whomever they like because LRK has the ability to reset everybody. Or unreset everybody. Which is perfect. So Roana's gonna go. Ideally, it pushes everybody back and LRK's immunity stays and he does not get pushed back. Perfect. Now LRK goes first. Armintha is going to S2. Uh, she does not have enough effectiveness. So she only gained 50% CR as opposed to 100% because she gains 25% per unhealable, I believe. Uh, so Eleki's going to S3, decrease everybody's um, skill cooldowns, and now DDR gets to S3 free. And then I believe they leave. Hilarious, delicious, fantastic. I should drink my tea while I load up the next fight. Don't join. Next up is Elf Bar. Uh, they go for DDR, Flan, Mort, uh, Last Piece, Karin, Goliath. I go for um, Ilanov, Selene, Solitaria, Delibet, and Sheltier. They ban out Selene. 
and I ban out LPK. Um, yeah. So now I feel pretty confident. They won't be able to kill my shelt here, obviously. They won't be able to kill anybody because uh, Ilanov exists. Uh, I thought they were just going to S1 here, but they decide to S3 into Dilibet. This is after I changed her. Uh, it is going to do 5k. Uh, yeah, and now I'm just going to eat Flan to make sure there's no shenanigans with her. And now I am going to stun the um, Goliath because she's really their only source of damage here. I mean, Mort can do some damage, but not enough for me to be worried about him. Mmm, T. They do decide to S3, which is a little bit confusing to me. Because they really are just proccing Dilbet. Which I guess is fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse everybody. S3. Let's see them big numbers. Pretty good. Uh, now we can S3 into Mort to really downplay how much um, his fear will be able to do. And they give up. Whee! Whoops, 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 whoops. I'm a failure. Help me. Uh, next up is this guy in the Korea server. They go for DDR, Ilanov, BMH, Kron. I'm sorry, I had to ban Kron and Aiden. Uh, I let Aiden through because she's a joke. Uh, I go for Flan, Celine, Dilibet, Sharoon, and Solitaria. Uh, they ban out Solitaria. I ban out Mr. Man, Mr. Tekron. Um, I can wear down Aiden's with um, Solitaria. DDR goes first. Perfectly fine. They're going to S3. Who am I going into? Can I stun you? No. Okay, that's fine. I need to kill Blood Moon Haste real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead. Get rid of him. This is going to push Ilanov up. She does. He does counter, but thankfully he does not hit, which is a miracle. He gained back 5k from that, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely ludicrous. Degen behavior. Uh, they're going to go into Sharoon. It is not a damaged Sharoon, which is good to know. Uh, can I stun... I'm just going to duel into Blood Moon Haste. Perfectly fine. Can I? Defense break him. I cannot. He counters. Again, I can't do anything. Gains 4.2k. Uh, he is just going to raw S3 into Flan. Uh, didn't do enough. Uh, I'm just going to S1 into Blood Moon Haze, get another dual attack, because I need to get rid of him first. It was like a 26, 27k HP um, Blood Moon Haze. They're going to S3 into Flan, barely kill her with three, <laughs> 34k. Uh, Would have been extra funny if they did not. So at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Just screw Aiden. I, I have no fear of Aiden. Uh, Blood Moon Haze has already used his stuff, so... You know, that's fine. Uh, I don't strip the DDR or the Blood Moon Haste, unfortunately. They're just going to work on um, Dilibet. I'm going to S3 or S1 into oh, Ilanov. Start working on her. Uh, again, not quite sure what they're doing, but I do believe they S3 here. Not, not quite sure what they're doing here, but they do proc Dilibet, they proc Sharoon, they proc Selene. There's a lot of procking here. Um, Aiden has a tack down, so I'm not super scared of what she does, and now everybody has Cascade. Uh, so I'm just gonna raw S3, because Blood Moon Haze can't bring anybody back, because he already s 3 into Flam. This is me thinking, by the way. This time, I'm like, do I just raw send it? And then I'm like, my Aiden never dodges, so what are the chances that their Aiden's gonna dodge? Uh, zero. <laughs> Aiden sucks. I hate Aiden so much. Awful unit. He is gonna counter. Gain back some HP, but that's fine. I don't really care. Uh, 
I do get a free dual attack, which is pretty nice. Um, thank you, phone. Let's get rid of DDR. Uh, and the one reason I really don't care about uh, Blood Moon Haste is that small little red mark on his head. Uh, that is a defense break. And defense breaks are very good, especially when you get to Solver and Selene, even without an attack buff. Uh, so, go Selene, go. He has a defense break. What can you do? Let's see. 26k. Perfect. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you. You're welcome. She said arigato. She said thank you. You're welcome. Uh, next up is Charu. They go for DDR, Ilanov, Solitaria, LRK, and Bellion. I go for Flan, Selene, Dilibet, Senya, and Shaltir. I was hoping to God that um, my Shaltir would outspeed the uh, Solitaria, but uh, she did not. Uh, this is going to go into everybody. Dilibet is able to proc, which is pretty nice, but LRK is going to get a nice barrier. Um, the one issue here I should have um, thought more about was who I go into here. Uh, I decide to do Solitaria. I probably should have done DDR because uh, I was too focused on if I, I just get Flan a focus. I can just win. Um, they're going to S3 into Flan. They miss, which is pretty nice. It's Rise of the Monarch. Um, uh, Ilanov. Uh, so I just need to get rid of LRK, really. Because he's a pain, being an Aureus tank. And since Dilibet already cleansed, DDR gets to do his thing. Essentially called my bluff, as it were. Uh, but Selene hasn't procced yet. Um, so they're just gonna S3. Flan's gonna lose her first turn, but Selene's gonna get to proc. Um, it goes into LRK, which is pretty nice. However, uh, Guardian Ice Crystals is cringe. Flan's gonna lose her turn. Perfectly understandable. I am counting LRK's turns. Ugh, fucking Guardian Ice Crystals. I did as much damage as he healed. Um, but we're still just gonna work on you. Ilanov, you can do what you want. You can hit Flan if you want. They go for Shaltir, which is probably the correct choice. Because uh, they just get to kill um, Flan there. Dilibet, if you could cleanse. Perfect. Let's kill LRK. Well, I go into DJB here, or DJB, DDR, because I want to proc his Guardian Ice Crystals, which I barely do not. Uh, so now... Dilovet is Warhorning, which is pretty nice. Um, do I go into DDR here, or do I go into LRK? I go into LRK because I don't trust DDR, the, the additional damage from What's-Her-Face killing her. Uh, Dilovet, are you dead? Sure are. Okay, well, now I lose, because the DDR will just be able to stun lock, or sleep lock my uh, Selene. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Next up, Fuchsia. I imagine is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, Solitus, A. Tywin, BBK, Amiki, and Arby. I go for Flan, Selene, DJB, Solitaria, and SBA. I tried to get her in. They didn't let it. I got rid of Arby because their entire team has no answer for uh, Solitaria. Um, which is great. It is also, everybody has barrier. And I'm going to make a couple of questionable plays, but you're going to see why. They're going to S3, which will proc my Selene. Uh, and it gives me very important information. That information is this BBK has literally zero ER uh, because I do stun her. 
So there are a couple of things I could have done here. Um, most of them revolve around a Taiwan being the biggest pain in the ass on the team. So I am going to kill a Taiwan. I know it's going to cleanse. I'm fine with that. Uh, I do get to blind three people, which is pretty nice. Not that it'll matter. Uh, as you will see shortly, uh, Amiki is on today. So now I can stun the um, BBK. I did have a mini heart attack because it resisted the strip, but it did hit um, and stun her. A Taiwan S3s. Not quite sure why, but he did. It's a um, Alexa's basket. Um, BBK. Uh, I want to get rid of a Taiwan, so I'm just going to S3. Amiki's going to counter. She's going to take offense to that. That's fine. I'm going to try to stun BBK because she has no ER whatsoever. DDR gets the stun, which is hilarious to me. It wasn't even Flan. Um, now, uh, again, like usual, I'm going to wait to proc, uh, Amiki. Um, they do get a defense break. Sorry, they get a strip, a defense break, and a, um, a, a hit with Amiki. Then they get another counter. Uh, so they're having pretty good luck, I would say. They're going to go into DJB. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and try to stun the Solitus. I could do get a dual attack, but they get yet another counter. Um, so I get one little bit of luck. They get a, they get a counter. Uh, and then I get a little bit of good luck in, in my way. Um, I has one. Celine dual attacks and procs Amiki. And then the rest of Solly's skill goes through and stuns the Amiki. Whoops. They do the question mark. I laugh because they did the question mark. Uh, so I'm just going to kill them. They had pretty freaking good luck that entire fight. Um, but apparently they're confused when other people also get good luck during the course of a fight. Uh... So you know that happens. Uh, next up, this person in the Korea Guild, they go for Frida, Sid, Bryce, Syria, BBK, and Mort. Uh, I go for Flan, Celine, Senya, Amiki, and Ed. They ban out Celine. I ban out uh, BBK, which you will very clearly see was the correct choice. Uh, Mort is in the back. Keep an eye on Mort. Everybody look at Mort. Mort wants to be the center of attention. He's he's loved by all. He's hated by all. He's the best. He's the best dragon. He's he's uh, he's gone. Uh, he died. Uh, it was a bait, Mort, to stop Amiki, and I did not take the bait. <laughs> uh, I very much did not take the bait. Uh, so at this point, it, it it's a it's an Amiki solo. So. I'm going to have some tea while you watch everybody slowly die. Uh, and then Amiki destroy them all one by one. Mmm, tea, it's chamomile, because it's late at night and I'm sleepy. Woo! It tastes so good in my belly. It tastes so good in my stomach. Hey, Amiki's still here, by the way. You going to soul burn? You gonna soul burn? Aw, they soul burned. So pretty. Attack buff, crit damage buff. Can you kill Flan? No. Perfect. Hey, uh, goodbye. I'm just gonna ask one. There's no need for me to do anything else. Boop, boop, boop. There goes Sid. Uh, now we kill Frida. And proc Bryceria right before she's about to go. Goodbye. 
Provoker. Perfect. Ideal. Oh god, this is gonna be longer than the last video I made that was going through all of my fights. Next up, oh god, IJMA05, Illinov, LRK, BBK, Solitaria, AOL, I go for Flan, A Tywin, Flitica, Shu, and Dilibet. They get rid of Dilibet, I get rid of Solitaria because I don't want her stunning quite literally everyone that exists. Uh, Flitica is going first. I do check to see the CR of where AOL is. She is more than 24% away, so I can S3 uh, or S2. However, Ilanov is not. So Ilanov will get to cut me. AOL will proc her skill null, which is perfectly fine. I wanted to do that so that I can S3 with a tie win. Uh, Ilanov is 32k HP, so I have high doubts that she will be able to kill my uh, Flitica. Uh, with her S3, so she doesn't even try. She goes into Shu. It is going to do quite literally nothing. Not even break the shield. I am going to reset the AOL. Uh, because AOL doing her thing is annoying. I don't want her to unbuffable and silence everybody. So I'm just going to make sure that she never gets to do that ever again in her life. Shu is going to give everybody a speed buff, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and keep going into the AOL. It's not going to break anybody's barrier. That is to be expected. A tie when you have 165 effectiveness. If you could just go ahead and defense break and stun everybody, that would be fantastic. I would really appreciate it. You've left me wanting so very often. He does exactly that. He does not defense break the LRK. I'm becoming an auctioneer and there's nothing you can do about it. AOL is just going to stand there. They are going to attempt to go into Shu. Once again, it is not going to do anything because my Shu is built with ER. Um, God, Flan, just S3. Uh, I think I go into... BBK? I don't remember who I went into. But anyway, Flitica is just going to keep existing. Um, if I can proc this... Uh, BBK's Immortality, that would be great because I already stripped the first one, this is the second one, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of her. Uh, I think I just S1 into Illinois, or they just quit. Uh, and we are going to keep going at this pace because holy crap, uh, I need to eat. And by eat, I mean I already ate, I need to drink, and by drink, I mean it's DDR, A Tywin, Ruel, Melissa, Spez, I go for Flan, Ed, Dilibet, uh, Amiki and Shaltier, they get rid of, uh, Shaltier, I get rid of, um, a Tywin, this is the first time we're seeing Ruel, what can she do, I have no idea, uh, so, Shaltier is gonna go first, which is fantastic, I'm going to go ahead and kill Spez, because I don't want him doing anything fancy with DDR, he very much died. It does push up my Ed, which I have changed to be slightly faster. And by slightly faster, I mean like 60 speed faster. I'm going to go ahead and kill Melissa. I do not know who they want to do their things with. First, Dilibet is still in the back. Um, so he can't really S3 here. Um, he is just going to push up the Ruel. And because the Melissa was so high up in the CR bar, uh, I am unfortunately going to have to take a hit. Uh, there is one thing, however, that I do learn from this, uh, Melissa, because I legitimately have no idea what she does because nobody uses her. Um, turns out her S3 still applies curse even if you do not hit the target. Um, I didn't know that. So she just gets cursed, even though she missed. Uh, and then she's going to S2 Ed, and Ed is going to explode. Um, and that is also going to kill Flan. Uh, Dilibet, however... I think I just S1 into the DDR. I do. Because uh, as long as they don't... Okay, they are going to S3. They're going to proc the Dilibet, which is perfectly understandable. Uh, they don't get rid of the stealth on Shelter, which is actually perfect, because they only have single target attacks. Uh, so Dilibet's not going to do anything. Uh, let's go ahead and cleanse everybody. Uh, this should hopefully do pretty good damage. Almost kills DDR, not quite. Takes Melissa down to her thing. Um, I do believe they S to the DDR to keep him alive. Uh, but Shelter is coming up on another S3, which is perfect. Um, they have their S2 again, because I think it resets every time they kill someone. Uh, they're going to go into Dilibet. It's not going to do quite as much damage as it, as it did to the Ed. Uh, 
So while we're here, we might as well just go into Ruel, lower her down a little bit. Um, DDR is going to S2, perfectly fine. I do Warhorn, which is hilarious. Going to Venom me. Uh, and Dilibet, are you going to die here? Dilibet dies. Uh, I need to kill DDR though. Uh, and it turns out Ruel has decently short um, cooldowns. I might have to check her. Oh, I'll be checking her out tomorrow. Or whenever you. I'm doing this before I stream. You'll get to see me stream whenever. Um, right here. Uh, it's hard to say what I should have done. I just get rid of Melissa to force them to do it. Or I, I, I had hoped that I would have um, outsped her, but I'm, if you can believe it, two, two percent points behind. And being two percent points behind is unfortunately just enough for her to S3 again and bring back Melissa. Uh, and then they give me the question mark as if I wasn't almost... I wasn't almost able to kill the Ruel. Um, I guess I asked one to after and I wasn't able to, but I don't know why they did the question mark. Like, it, was, it wasn't a fight at all. Um, next up, this person in the Korea server in the Martini Guild. They go for Senya, Solitus, uh, uh, fuck, what's her name? Dilibet. Solitaria, Solitus, stop doing this to me. Laika, I go for Flan, DDR, Celine, Amiki, and Sharoon. They ban out Sharoon, I ban out Senya because they're relatively squishy without her. Um, especially if Solitus goes first and does things. Uh, they're just going to S1, it misses, shockingly. Uh, Laika is going to S3 here, and this might be one of the saddest things I've ever seen from a Laika. Uh, other than mine, which is full resist and a counter, uh, which is hilarious. And the like is going before my DDR, which is funny. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go into Celine. They're going to kill Celine. Perfectly fine. Amiki counters. It's proof of valor. I don't particularly care. Dilibet's all the way at the back, so I can get away with doing this. Uh, S3. Venom, everybody. S1. Uh, I did not get rid of the stealth on Solitaria, which is problematic. Um, oh, God. This is a long fight, too. I just remembered this fight. Oh, God. So, Flan, I'm just going to S1 get rid of everybody's debuffs. So now Dilibet is like, do I cleanse here? Do I not cleanse here? What am I? What am I doing here? They're just going to S1. They do hit the flan because they can win 50-50s and I can't. Um, Solita uh, Solitus is now going to do her thing. Triple resist from Amaki is promising. All that matters is the Solitaria. Can it debuff my Amaki? Double resist is good. Can I Venom down? this Dilibet. Okay. Hello. So, Amiki was not able to be debuffed by Solitaria. And it wasn't able to be debuffed, really, by Solitus either. Okay. Double resist means it was not a fluke. Solly S1s get rid of the attack buff. And then they're going to go ahead, push up. That's perfectly fine. Amiki, if you want to counter at any point, darling, that'd be great. Thank you. Not quite dead. Uh, they do have enough souls, but it is with the wrong unit. They do not strip anything. They do not debuff anything. They get the pushback, which I think is a 15%. They got that um, because I've resisted quite literally everything else from the Solitaria. It seems to be a crit damage Solitaria because it's critting everything. Whoops. They get rid of the effectiveness buff. 
Can I outspeed the solitaria or the solitus? There's too many units, man. I'm so far ahead. No debuffs. No debuffs. I don't. Okay. Well, we've seen the soli solitus is like 50% on debuffing me. Can she do it? Another 15% was the pushback. So I have to go through another round of being hit. Solitary, you get another S3. What are you going to do? Nothing doing. You do not have enough effectiveness there, bud. Yeah, it is a crit damage one because this is like the fifth time she's crit me. Uh, Amiki, finally going to remember she's a counter unit. Kill the solitis, uh, Solitaria. There's too many Solis. I hate everything. Help me. I'm in danger. I have the Soul Burn. I've been waiting for it for like 20 turns. Kill the Dilibet. Double hit the Solitus, and she goes down. Oh my god, what a fight. Oh my god. Damage Solitaria is neat tech, but not great against Amiki, apparently. Next up is Min HP 99 in the Economy Guild in Global. They go for Solitus, DDR, Zeo, Jacko, and um, Little Twink Man. I go for Flan, Selene, uh, Dilibet, Amiki, and Senya. They get rid of Selene. I get rid of Twink Man. Okie dokie, what are we doing here? I'm going to put Dilibet in the back because I don't want them doing anything with her. So more than likely they can go after Senya, that's fine. I am not particularly scared of whatever they do. Uh, so they are going to S3 into Senya, proc her. Wonderful, wonderful, I don't particularly care. They are going to kill Senya, they're going to push everybody up. Uh, I do counter. Uh, she does resist though, which is... Not best, because now she can go into Dilibet. If I had gone the Provoke, uh, it would have been ideal, but she they're going to Soul Burn. I do resist, which is perfect karma. They got to resist. I got to resist. Everything is equal in all measures. Uh, so Solitus can S3 here, but I don't know that she wants to. Um, again, it's a matter of uh, DDR, if DDR also wants to S3 here. Um, they do appear a little bit scared. They do get a 3% dual attack, because why would they not? Um, everything's fair in love and war. They're going to push up. Dilibet is still going to go, though. Uh, I am just going to S1 and... Uh, nope, I S3. I don't know why I didn't S3. It's fine. I wanted to kill Jacko. Let's just say I wanted to kill Jacko because I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Um, again, this is just me getting to the point where I'm like, do I just go for the Amiki solo because this is a very important time in my life uh i'm going to defense break the ddr because apparently nobody is built on er anymore they're gonna go into um uh dilibet they don't crit the second time which is hilarious i do get debuffed i'm not going to debuff anything quite yet um venom they still haven't done anything and i'm perfectly fine with that they're very scared of this dilibet there goes Dilibet. She does She does cleanse right before it. And hey, uh, let's get rid of DDR. And then let's S1 and uh, hopefully get rid of Zeo. And it doesn't matter if I don't because Zeo's going into Amiki. Yep. Sure. Ow. Now they can finally S3. Except it didn't. They didn't S3 because I think they were hoping to get Amiki back or down into Immortality, but it did not work like that. Uh, last up is against Van Van in the Ruvis Guild. In Global, they go for DDR, Harsetti, um, Carmen, Genoa, and Mort. I go for Flan, Celine, Dilibet, Strays, and Amiki. They get rid of Flan because she is annoying. I get rid of Harsetti because they have literally no speed control. Uh, so if they don't get rid of Strays, Strays just gets to eat their highest HP unit, which is fantastic. Uh, turns out, as we will see here, they don't have any speed control, so let's just get rid of Carmen. And then I am doubly protected against D uh, DDR, so I don't care. Carmen evaporates, which is perfect. Um, DDR, you can do whatever the hell you want. You can S1, you can S3, I do not care. They're just going to S1, sleep the Amiki. Uh, which is perfectly fine. 
I'm going to go into Mort. Uh, because if I can get him to proc, he will proc Selene. Um, he is just going to step on everybody, though. No steppy on Snake. It's going to fear several people, but hey, that cleanses Dilibet. Uh, actually, she didn't cleanse. I guess I was just going... Oh, I... It didn't cleanse. I just got rid of fear immediately. Uh, because fear is just RNG sleep. Um, so it's not the best. Anyway. Mord is going to counter. Mord is going to proc uh, Celine. DDR has no effect res whatsoever. Jeno is going to go ahead and do his thing. He can go into Amiki or Dilibet. Pick your target. I don't care either way. I give them the thumbs up because they have a catch-22. Uh, thankfully, Genoa doesn't gain HP based on what he does. Uh, Strays is coming up soon, and he has an S2, so I'm just going to S1 into Mort. And then let's go ahead and soul burn this. Get rid of the DDR, and then Amiki can kill Mort, and then Amiki can solo. And that's all the games I've played in this batch. Can I go to bed now? I'm tired. You wouldn't let an old man not rest, right? I love you all. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.